The Corsair Flash Voyager Go is the easy way to move photos, music, and videos between your Android device and your PC. Click now to learn more. Welcome to my Batman Arkham Origins benchmarking video. I know you're probably wondering why is this so overdue and Titanfall should be this video instead of Batman Arkham Origins. Don't worry, Titanfall is hopefully coming later on this week and if not it'll be very early next week so don't worry about that. We'll have a Titanfall benchmarking video coming for you. First and foremost, the hardware that we're running here is a 3960X clocked at 4.0 gigahertz, along with 16 gigs of 1866 megahertz RAM, and then various GPUs. All of our GPUs are overclocked. They are not running at stock. And there's some variance here because we're running reference cards, so some coolers are running hotter than other coolers. I know the, some of the AMD coolers on the higher end are running stock at almost 95 degrees Celsius, so pay attention to that. And if you want to see all of our settings, check out the overclocking dock in the description below the video. For tiers, I have my high tier running at the $400 plus dollar price range, running at 2560 by 1600p, with everything pretty much maxed out, running 8x MSAA, and everything else as high as I can put it, not including PhysX, because that wouldn't run on the AMD side. Then when we jump down, I only have one more tier. Now I only have one more tier because the lowest tier was actually able to run the game at the exact same settings with perfectly fine frame rates as the medium tier, so I just merge them together. So this is about the $400 to $150 range and that's running at the same general settings as the high-end range except at 1080p instead of 1600p. One thing to note as well is that this is an NVIDIA sponsored title. When I, whenever I do these gaming benchmarks I have to call out who sponsors the game because things might be skewed in one way or another and you can see driver revisions in the future but as Arkham Origins has been around for a little while we've probably already seen those driver revisions. Another thing to note is that I'm not using the in-game benchmark. I know there is an in-game benchmarking tool for this and there was one for Thief although I didn't address it. Just so you guys know we won't be using in-game benchmarks. We will be creating our own. This is because in the past and some things in the future, mainly with phones we've seen though lately, is that benchmarking tools can be easily skewed in one way or another, and we would like to use actual in-game performance to show you guys how your card will run while you're actually playing the game, as the benchmark doesn't pertain to you actually playing the game. As you guys can see here, I'm just in the Bat Cave, and I'm going to use the training console for this benchmark. Once you get in, select Batman, go into Ranked, go all the way over to the right to Downloaded Maps, and then select 100 to 1. Once combat starts, it's up to you to survive. It's you versus 100 people, as the name goes, but you might not get to the very end, or you will, but for in two minutes, I seriously doubt you will, and this benchmark only lasts for two minutes, so good luck. Some pointers that I can put out there are that your, your most ridiculous enemies are going to be the ones with unblockable items, so say like a knife or a machete. To counter those guys, I would recommend using your Batarang, as it can take them out from a distance and you don't have to get close enough to actually get hit by it. To do that, you just have to look at them and spam one. The guys that throw boxes or wooden chairs or whatever like that, you can actually catch those out of the air, so if you see one flying at you, it will have the counter symbol above it, and if you right click, you'll catch it out of air, throw it back at them, and take them out, and that's just pretty awesome. The armored guys will just block your normal punches, and one of the main things that you can do to make this easier on yourself is getting rid of people. So if you want to basically drop their guard, if you press middle click, it swings your cape around, and will kind of drop their guard for a second so you can actually start punching them and remove them from the fight. Big combos will help a lot as you can string them together and it helps you knock people out. Also, if you can move fast enough, you don't have to waste your time countering, you can actually take more people out. Other than that, good luck! Uh, I'm sure you'll find better ways to do this than I did, as I only played the game for a little while and I'm definitely not particularly skilled at Batman combat. So, good luck, try your best, try out the benchmark as it's just fun no matter what, so even if you're not benchmarking it's fun. Uh, just remember, go to the training console in the Bat Cave and try out 1 vs 100, it's a good time. Alright guys, thanks for watching my Batman Arkham Origins video. While you're here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to see all of our future content. And as always, like and dislike the video, favorite, share, comment below what you think about the difference between in-game benchmark and external pre-built benchmark, because that's an ongoing discussion topic that never really seems to end. If you guys want to jump over to the forum, you can check out the discussion topic on this, which might be a more civil and advanced version of the comment section down below. Sorry, YouTube guys, but it usually is. And be sure to check out the advertisements that are on the site. And if you don't want those advertisements, be sure to become a site contributor, as on, at any tier of contributor, all of those advertisements go away.